Hey guys, um, welcome back to my channel. Um, I just wanted to do a quick video to show how I um, attach acetate and vellum in my planner. Um, because every time I do a flip through or just kind of show pages from there, I get quite a few people asking, you know, how I put um, these in there. And it literally is just a bit of clear sellotape on either side. Um, but like I said, because quite a few people have asked and I did promise that I would show how I do it, um, I just thought I would film something really quickly. So, you know, first obviously you want to just measure out um, the acetate or vellum, what you, you know, or even piece of paper that you're trying to put in. And I don't use any fancy methods, like I just kind of tuck it in there and then I'll just put a pen mark um, in these three places and then cut it out. So you just cut it down to size. And I've got these two um, here. This is uh, vellum and acetate, and they're both from a UK shop called Madison Fox Plans. So whether you're using like one piece or, you know, two pieces, it doesn't matter, like the method is exactly the same. And all you need is um, obviously your acetate or vellum, a ruler, and some sellotape. So I'll show you with the acetate how I do it. So basically you just wanna line it up. Now, um, I do wanna say that obviously I'm not really that bothered, so I've left it as it is, but the strategy does come with um, rounded pages. So if you wanted to round your corners, um, it's probably better to do it now. Uh, like I said, I honestly just don't <laughs> care at all. So I've left it. So you basically just want to line it up you know as flush to the middle as you can and if these pages are kind of falling over you might want to put something heavy on it to keep it there and then you just get your ruler and some sellotape and the non sticky side you want to wrap around the ruler so let me see if you can see that so just like that you've got half on this side and half on that side and the sticky side is on the outside and so it's a bit tricky one second okay and you're just gonna get to let's see if I can zoom you in you just want to line it up the end of the sellotape to this page just make sure it's in line I think that's good and just tuck the ruler in as deep as you can and then it will stick on this side to the acetate and on that side to the page and that's literally it and I'll do another one on the bottom sorry if you can't couldn't tell if that was in frame or not so I will try and do it again on this side so again you just want to get as close to the edge as possible with the sellotape line the sellotape up and just like that and that's it really and you can put like you know one in the middle if you wanted to um, what I generally do is I do two on the ends like here, and then I'll do one on the back side as well, but just in the middle. So again, the sticky side on the outside, just wrap it around the ruler. I think if you have a smaller ruler, it might help, Best, it might work better. And just again, tuck it in, and then that's it. And there you go. Um, and then I can add this vellum, in exactly the same way um, I will show you so again just line it up piece of sellotape and find it easier to do it like this just want to make sure that you tuck this in as much as possible basically Let's 
lined up and just put that in and this time obviously it will go onto the acetate on that side. Let me see if I can try and do this a little bit quicker. So there you go, two in the front and I generally do one in the back as well um so that's literally it like i said i'm sure there are you know better ways of doing this um for me it's just the easiest way i've found and the ruler kind of just really helps to tuck the sellotape in as close to the middle as possible and there you go um acetate and vellum so i hope that was useful um, sorry if I was out of frame for a little bit there. Um, if you have any questions, let me know or you can send me a DM on Instagram. Um, yeah, and thank you guys for watching.